Hello friends, it's Claire from Longmont Public Library back for baby story time. I'm in my story time chair. I keep trying to move around my house to keep it interesting and find a fun background for everyone. Um, so I'm going to try this corner of my house today. Thank you for joining us. Great to see all the babies out there. I can imagine them in my brain, in my imagination. I have a woodpecker friend here today that's going to be my demo baby to do the baby bounces and help uh, grown-ups interact with baby. And I like to start with a hello song. It goes like this. You ready to sing? And get your hands out. It goes like this. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. We also clap hello. Ready? We clap hello like this. We clap hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we clap hello like this. Yay, good job, friends. Woohoo! Okay, next up, I like to do open shut them. And Woodpecker Friend's gonna help us do open shut them today. Ready? We gotta move our fingers. You can have baby facing the screen to do open shut them looking at me and Woodpecker, or you can have baby facing you looking at you doing open shut them. All right, here we go. Open shut them them open shut them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them lay them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open up your little mouth <gasps> but do not let them in Yay, nice job. Okay, we will start our first story today with a book called Little Bitty Friends, and it's by Elizabeth McPike and Patrice Barton. And I see a little turtle on the cover. Little Bitty Friends. Oh, there's a puppy. Little bitty steps marching one, two, three. Can you count to three with me? One, two, three. Little furry caterpillars tickle, tickle me. Can you tickle baby's knee? Tickle, 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 tickle. Little bitty buttercups reaching for the sky. Can you reach to the sky? Reach up high. Get a good stretch. Yay. Little bitty bird learning how to fly. Can you flap your wings like a little bird learning to fly? Flap, 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 flap. Good job. Little bitty snail. There's little bitty snail peeking from his house. Can you play peekaboo? Grown ups, don't forget to play peekaboo. It's a classic and a favorite. Peekaboo, I see you and the snail. Little bitty nibble, little bitty mouse, some strawberries, a little weeping willow swaying in the breeze. Can you sway? Sway, sway, sway. Little bitty nose, a little bitty sneeze. Achoo! Little bitty chipmunks chattering all the day. Chat, 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 chat. And a little bitty ladybug comes, always comes to play. I see four ladybugs. Can we count them? One, two, three, four. And a little bitty turtle on little bitty lap. Little baby rabbits nuzzle while they nap. There are the little rabbits. Little bitty rest, little blanky snug. A little pick me up and a giant, giant hug. Yay! Can you give yourself a great big hug or give baby a great big hug and squeeze? Nice job. Okay, we're gonna try something a little different. We'll see, we're gonna do, we have baby bounces that we do every week, mostly zooming to the moon together. We'll do that, but I also wanted to introduce you to a great children's musician named Jim Gill. We have a lot of his CDs at the library and he has also a lot of awesome YouTube uh, videos. His last name is G-I-L-L. -L. And this is a song that 
that he does called my ups and downs and I thought we could try it together lifting baby up and down to the music um, and Jim Gill has graciously given librarians across the country permission to use his songs and story time. So special thanks to Jim Gill. And let's give this a try. It's called My Ups and Downs. So get ready to wiggle, dance, and lift baby up and down. Okay. Let's see if it works. Here we go. As I ascend my arms, As I extend, ascend, my I arms extend. Stretch my body straight. And I intend to stretch my body As straight. I As I elevate, stretch baby up. The music falls. I'm getting small. I finally scroll till I can move no more. We go down low. On the floor. On the floor. My body grows and grows and grows. And grows, and grows, grows and so I pose on way up high. Way up high to the sky. Soon I sink my sides will go down on the brink of bruising my knee. Oh no! As, As I, I collapse, collapse, baby collapse. One last time I think One last time. I'll climb this, think I'll climb this pantomime. Sure fantastic. Like elastic. Like elastic. My knees bend oh, as I go down. This song must end <laughs> while I am sitting down, down. on the ground. ground. Should we try it one more time? Let's try it one more time. Okay, it goes kind of fast. Let's play it again. Get ready again, we gotta go up and down. It's a good bass. Ready? As I ascend my arms extended, and I intend to stretch my body straight. Oh, I intend to stretch my body As straight. I elevate. As I elevate. The music just said, I'm getting small, small. I finally scroll getting small. I can move no more. Till I can move no more. On the floor. On the floor. My body grows and grows and grows and grows. On tiptoes, I am way up high. Tiptoes. I'm way up high. Near the sky. Near the sky. Soon I sink my side. Oh, soon I sink. I'm on the brink of bruising my kneecaps. Uh oh. Bruising my kneecaps. As I collapse. As I collapse. One last time. One last time. Let's go up. This Climb. Has been Ooh. Fantastic. Like, like elastic. My knees bend. Right. Go down again. Said this song <laughs> must end while I am sitting down. down. Sitting down. On, on the ground. Or on someone's lap or chair. Yay. Thanks for trying that out with me, friends. Thanks, Jim Gill. Highly recommend checking him out. He has lots of fun songs for little kids and babies, and they're tolerable for grown-ups, <laughs> and they're pretty short. Uh, and he uses really cool musicians. That was a bassist, uh, stand-up bass that he included in his music. All right, now that we've stretched out and we've ascended and we've descended, can we zoom to the moon together? All right, it's my favorite baby bounce, so grab baby up if they feel like bouncing again. Goes like this, zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. We've got to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Let's go again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. We've got to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Yay! Good job, friends! Woodpecker approves! Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, let's do another book. And this one is a classic and favorite. Oh, I got a bonus bird in the book. A tweet, 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 tweety bird to go with woodpecker. You never know what you might find on my bookcases at home. Sometimes birds, sometimes books. This is one of my favorite baby time books. It's called Leo Loves Baby Time, and it's by Anna McQuinn that does the Lola books. Leo is Lola's little brother, and it's illustrated by Ruth Hearson. And it'll give a preview of what baby time is like in person when we can go back and do that safely. Hopefully sometime in the future. All right. Leo loves Wednesdays. Wednesdays is when we officially do our baby time together, but you can probably watch any of the day week 
of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. But Leo loves Wednesdays. He eats his breakfast and he puts on his jacket. He sits in the stroller and then off he goes to baby time. Everyone says hello, like we sing the hello song. First they sing the happy song. Oh, I wonder if it's like if you're happy and you know it. And then they play peekaboo with scarves. Peekaboo. They sing the stretchy song. Oh, we kind of just did a stretchy song too. And the rolly song. Oh, can you roll? Good job. What comes next? Next, they play with animals. That is Leo's favorite. We've got a sheep, a duck, a cow, a cat, and a pig. Boink, boink. They wiggle their fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers? And they wave their arms and they kick their legs. They ride the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. And they ride a horse like zooming to the moon. Then, guess what? They zoom to the moon, just like we did. Then last, there's lots. There's time for cuddle, a story, and making new friends. Yay! I hope you all enjoy baby time as much as Leo enjoys baby time. Okay, let's do... Thank you, Amu. It's a little bit of a longer book, but the pictures are so beautiful, and sometimes I like to read books just for the grown-ups, too. <laughs> because if you're enjoying it, enjoying story time or reading, your baby will enjoy it, too. To share the love of listening and reading. This is an awesome book. It's called Thank You, Amu, and it's by Ogi Mora. She did the words and the beautiful pictures. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and she stirred and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. There she is reading. As the thick stew, red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall and toward the street, and around the block until, knock, knock, someone was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw a little boy. Little boy, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. So Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And to Amu, and so Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu. <laughs> oh my God, thing is, excuse me. <laughs> I was sneezing just like the little, I think it was a little kitty cat in our book that was sneezing. That was a real sneeze, excuse me. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said and went on his way. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, the thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and down out the door, down the hall, toward the street and around the block until, knock, knock, knock. Someone was at the door. When Amu opened the door this time, she saw a police officer. Miss police officer, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was do on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Amo thought 
for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, said the police officer and went on her way. And so for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall and toward the street and around the block until knock, knock, knock. Again, someone was at Amu's door. This time when she opened it, she saw a hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied, what is it? Thick red stew. Ooh, stew, said the hot dog vendor and licked his lips. That sounds delectable. So Amu supposed that she had some more and spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her evening meal. Thank you, Amu, said the hot dog vendor and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete. Maybe she'll feed a librarian. I would be in the mood for some big, nice red stew from her big pot. And she also fed a construction worker. Even the mayor stopped by. Soon... The sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Amu opened her big fat pot of thick and thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was empty. Oh no. Amu sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had. So sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until knock, 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 knock. Who could that be, Amu wondered. When she opened the door, she saw the little boy and the police officer, the hot dog vendor, the shop owner, the cab driver, the dancer, the actor, the lawyer, the doctor, the baker. Why, everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Amu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged on Amu's sleeve. Don't worry, Amu, we are not here to ask. We are here to give. Awesome. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken and the baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. And even the little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day uh, squeezed inside her tiny apartment and together they danced and celebrated while Amu's big pot of thick red stew was empty. Her heart was full of happiness and love. That dinner was the best she had ever had. Thank you, Amu. Yay. Ogimura also has another book called Saturday, which is equally as beautiful too. Okay, will you help me sing this book? It's our last book, and I wanted to show grown-ups that you can really kind of sing any book, particularly if they're rhyming books. It's fun to sing with baby. It gives a little bit of a different tone, gets their attention. It's fun for you. It's sometimes a little bit more engaging than just reading. So this one's called This is the Way a Baby Rides, and it's by Susan Myers and illustrated by Hiro Nakata. And... I need your help singing. This is the way the baby rides. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Don't let go. This is the way a baby runs. Like chipmunks, quickity quick, high and low. This is the way a baby hides. And a deer, hushity hush, can you see? This is the way a baby jumps, like rabbits, leapity, leapity leap, look at me. This is the way a baby cries, wah, 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 like 
a baby bird. Where's my lunch, says baby. This is the way a baby eats. Just like squirrels, yum a yum munch and crunch. This is the way a baby flies. Whooshity whoosh up so high like a bird. This is the way a baby swims like an otter. Splashity splash, rub him dry. This is the way a baby plays like foxes. Bouncity bounce, a tumble hug and a tumble tug. This is the way a baby sleeps. Mm, what does it say? Let's see. Snoozity snoozle or snoozity snooze, warm and snug. This is the way a baby wakes. Stretchity stretch, head to toe like an opossum. And this is the way a baby rides. Bumpity bump, time to go. Bye, baby. Pretty sunset. And off they go. That's the way a baby rides. Yay. Thank you for being such a great story time audience today. Can you give yourself a big, 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 big round of applause? Yay. Woodpecker friend will come back. He says, peck, peck. <laughs> you can't see him, but he's pecking at you. Peck, 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 peck. Okay, I like to sing a goodbye song. Proves that uh, baby story time's extra silly. Sometimes I feel very, very silly doing this by myself, but it's good to know you're all out there being silly with me, I hope, because that is the goal, silliness. Okay. The goodbye song's a lot like the hello song. It goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With all our friends and story time, we wave goodbye like this. I like to end with a full body wave or full baby wave so we can stretch it out, get loose. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With all our friends and story time, we wave goodbye like this. Yay. Thank you, friends. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.